All right, welcome back to the fourth tutorial. Uh, in this one, we are gonna go over interior, interior instances, uh, rooms, whatever you wanna kind of call them. Uh, if you still don't have everything installed and you still don't know how to use Code Walker, I suggest you use you go back and watch part one, two, and three before using this one. Uh, but if you're still here, I'm assuming you have Code Walker already installed. So first thing we're going to do is open Code Walker. So like last time, just hit T to get our top left menu and extend the sidebar. And we're going to wait for Code Walker to load. So uh, in this tutorial or in, in, in this one, we are just going to create two in, or copy two interiors and move them to a certain Point. So from my testing, what I've kind of figured out is you can only have one interior per Y map. So keep that in mind. Not that it makes a difference because these Y maps literally one kilobyte, not even, but like really like a hundred kilobyte or something, not even that. And all it does is that it tells that uh, it has to use a specific Y type in a certain area. So from there, it kind of does everything for you. So worry about performance it shouldn't be too bad so in this case we are going to use the motel room uh, we're going to place it around the motel and i'm going to say why we're going to place it around the motel uh, we're going to find it by going to world Service. there's websites where you can just look up interiors and they have the coordinates but in this case you can just type in motel and then we have the v underscore motel underscore mp and we're just going to double click on it as you can see then we have the motel room from here, we're gonna create a new project like always, and we're gonna go under drop down. We are gonna select interior instances, gonna hit the move, and we're gonna select the blue box. As you can see, when we deselect, there is a blue box that is the Y map the interior MLO instance. We're gonna do like last time, we're gonna hit add to project, and now we have our Y map with our interior. So what next? What, what is next? Well, we're going to go back to the motel. In this case, it's going to be pink. In this case, it's going to be pink. Oh my God, I can't talk. Pink cage. And we are going to move the hotel room to below the motel. Uh, and the reason we're doing is doing that is because if something happens around the motel, let's say shooting, the cops are there with their sirens on, something explodes, people will be able to hear that faintly they're not good unless you place it literally inside the walls uh they won't be able to hear cars drive by of course and so on but i don't suggest you do that because there is still gonna be you know that that wall in between so we are gonna go to like around this place here so we have a level we're leveled with the uh the ground we're gonna go to markers and we're going to look straight down and we're going to go down to around the zero mark. There we go. As you can see, we're not super far down, but we're pretty far down. I'm going to select current camera position, copy that, paste it into our position for the motel. There we go. And as you can see, we now move the interior over to the motel. So. Of course, for a Y map, as per usual, you want to go back, you want to hit Y map, you want to click on Calculate Extents, and then we're pretty much done. We made a copy and we moved the interior. So, like I said, uh, unfortunately, from my testing, you are not able to just make a copy of an of an interior. So you will have to create a new Y map uh, for this, but it's really not too bad the easiest way to do that is probably just click on save all in this case we have tutorial and we will rename the y map to tutorial one we're gonna keep the milo part because that's what rockstar does with all their uh, interiors i'm not sure you need it but we might as well so we have tutorial one and hit save and for the project as per usual I'm just gonna call that one tutorial there we go so we're just gonna go to desktop in my case that's where I save my files 
go to tutorial and then we have the Y map. So we're going to just make a few copies. And I'm going to call that one two. I want to make sure everything has the right spaces. Three. Four. One, two, three, four, five. We're gonna go to file. We're gonna hit on open, Y map. We're gonna select the four new ones we made. Hit open. Now we have all the, the Y maps added. That means they're all gonna be stacked on top of each other. So what I suggest doing is that you select, select them, and then you move them roughly, like what you feel comfortable with depending on your proximity for in-game VoIP. Um, I feel like it should be so that if you're yelling, people can hear each other because the walls are thin in a motel like this. That is just how it is. But again, you don't want them to be able to hear each other just whispering. So we're gonna move it down. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna move it from around zero. We're gonna move it down to 10, maybe 15. Yeah, there we go. Again, depends on the proximity, so maybe ask whoever is in charge of that. And then we're just gonna move it a bit over here. So it's straight under us somewhat. Just keep it around the motel, it doesn't have to be perfect. So that makes one of them. I'm gonna select another one, move that one down even further. I'm gonna move it over here. And then another one. In this case, this one, I'm just gonna move it right next to this one. Like that. There we go. So, now we made four copies of these uh, motor rooms. So, actually, is there another one? There is another one, I forgot. <laughs> so we're gonna just take that one, move it even further down. As per usual, select it. Uh, select the, the Y maps, calculate extents, calculate extents, calculate extents, calculate, and calculate. Go to tools, manifest generator, generate, save manifest, save it the same place as the rest, and we should be good to go. All right, next one, and the, the reason I'm gonna do this is because I'm just gonna explain some might be common knowledge, but it doesn't seem that everybody knows about it. So we're going to go back to our motel room because around the motel room, there's also a few garages that we're going to do something with. So in our project window, oh, that might be a bit much. We're going to hit add project. Now we have the interior V garage Milo. And then we're going to go to another spot where we have these, where we have a garage gonna move it there so in this case I've, this area here feels like it fits i'm gonna go inside go to the uh, markers which i was already at and paste that one in here i'm gonna move it down make it somewhat fit let the, the outside not be perfect i'm gonna rotate it uh keep in mind if you're using the newest version of uh, Code Walker, there's going to be a bit of a scuffiness with the rotation. Uh, and I hit on I hit W to change the the pivot or the movement tool to just be flush with the object instead of being flush with the world. So W for that. And there we go. That's a, that's about all right. And the reason I'm doing it like this is because. Um, Let's say you want this area to have actually have a garage inside of it. Having it be next to the outside, it's going to prevent people from having loading issues where if you were to move somebody from this area to wherever the garage is actually at, which would be, I don't remember, somewhere further away. Uh, it's going to have like, it has to load things in. When you move somebody from one place to another, 
and there's a far distance, it has to, you know, load everything in. And sometimes people load in and there's not an interior and it has to load and everything. So if you place it just outside, the interior is already going to be loaded. Uh, and it's going to make it so people can hear each other talk from inside and outside. Again, maybe you don't want it to be right outside. You're going to move it down. So if somebody does yell, they can hear each other, but they're just talking normally. Or if they are whispering, people cannot hear. So... As again, selecting the Y map, calculate extents. But in this case, we're gonna just gonna click and save all. And gonna add tutorial. Because we are only gonna need this single one. We're gonna save it and we're gonna close the project and open it back up. And the reason we're doing that is because, as you can see, it uh, rotated. And the reason I'm doing that is because the latest Code Walker has a bug. I'm not actually sure. <laughs> Uh, so what you want to do is you want to go up to the rotation and the last two bits you want to either add or remove a minus. So in this case, I think we're just going to add the minus. I'm going to save the Y map, close it and open it back up. Whoop, and there we go. Now the rotation is as it should be. So I'm just going to save for the sake of saving. I'm going to go back to the tools. Uh, actually, I'm going to remove this one back up because it's easier for me to find in game. I'm going to go back, calculate stance, yada, yada, yada. Flags. All right, we're all good. Save tools, manifest generator. Generate. And as you can see, we have all the Y maps. One, two, three, four, five. And we have the garage. And it has the interior details, the different entities and props it's using from the D from GTA already for both of them save manifest save on top all right should be good to go so I'm just gonna close code walker because we are actually done there we go and now we have all the files we need in this case we don't need the tutorials per usual or the the project file so I'm gonna right click hit copy uh, if you don't have a server already and if you don't know how to stream content, I suggest you go back and watch, I think, the second part. Uh, I'm going to leave the snippet for the Lua, just so you have it. But I suggest you go back and watch how to set that up. So, I'm going to go into my server files, resources, my whatever folder, into my tutorial folder, stream. And we're just going to paste. So now we have the garage. Tutorial one, two, three, four, five. All right. Let's boot up my server. And wait for it to load. Last time I cut this out, but in this case, you're going to have to sit through it with me. Let's see if a uh, quake actually loads up. Or if it's just going to sit on the dirt. Background. All right. Well, doesn't seem to want to load. <laughs> but we're just gonna enjoy the interesting, interesting load screen. All right. F2 for no clip. Uh, like I said last time, I'm using the Lambda menu. I guess it's that's how you pronounce it. So don't have a no clipping tool. That's pretty decent. And we're gonna go over to. This place I'm just gonna make our loop no clip a bit slower. And there we go. In a later tutorial, I'm gonna cover uh, how to open an interior up. So if you wanna use uh, let's say if you wanna add this door so it's uh, so you can open it just like this door and you can walk in from outside, like from a building. That is going to be covered at a later point. It's a bit more advanced. And the same with the gate. Uh, so we're basically going to cover how to make interiors accessible from the outside. Instead of having to use teleporters. So as you can see here we have the, uh, the garage. That's working. It's literally just sitting outside. Or inside this building. So making a teleporter is really just going to move from here to here. And we're not going to have any loading issues. Because, yeah, it's really just there. Alright, so let's move over to the motel. 
Broken Cage Motel. Which is over here. And I'm gonna do very slow. And we're gonna do slow. I'm gonna see if I can hit one of my. Uh, there we go. Oh. Come any closer, I'm calling the cops. Well, <laughs> I guess, Renderino. But as you can hear, you can hear people, and that is most likely because. When you create uh, entities, in this case, that would be uh, the seat. When pets spawn, it's going to check for these seats. And they're going to basically spawn these pedestrians or civilians or locals, whatever you want to call them, on top of them. So let's see if I can find one of the other ones. Uh, actually, I placed it right next to it, right? So in this case, that should be here. Uh, so you might want to place them a bit further down just in case this happens. Uh, let's see if we can find one of the other ones. I don't think I can. So I don't remember the coordinates. But yeah, if you have pets spawning in the seats, just move it further so, so the nav mesh uh, and spawners don't interfere. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You should be good to go. If, uh, yeah, you can basically make a co copy of any interior and uh, just roll with it. So if you want to move the big fucking base from out of town inside here, use it for something, you can. So, all right. Hope that's uh, helpful. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.